Vitamin C is so popular in skincare today. And if you look online, vitamin C can do everything. There are many formulations of vitamin C, some of them reasonably priced and some of them outrageously priced. Is it really a miracle ingredient and should you be including it in your skincare routine? Welcome back to our ingredient comparison series. Today, we're focusing on vitamin C. It's got vitamin C. Vitamin C is unique in that we can not only use it topically, but we can also eat it. We are going to deep dive into the body today to fully understand how vitamin C affects our skin. The most important theme of today is oil and water and the fact that they do not mix. Kind of like oil and water and a third unmeshable thing. Our body is 60% water. We are protected by our skin, which is rich in lipids. When we put vitamin C on our skin, it does not want to go in. We have to trick the vitamin C into going into our skin. Hence the million confusing formulations of vitamin C. There are too many choices. There is a trick though. We can eat it. This gets vitamin C coursing through our veins and comes up from below to deposit vitamin C right into our skin. I got in. Now onto our six common skin concerns and let's get very specific on how vitamin C influences each of these categories. Vitamin C does not affect the skin barrier, pores, or redness, so we'll skip those. It's okay at building collagen or reducing pigment, but it's great at repairs. We need vitamin C to build collagen. Vitamin C is an absolute requirement to build collagen. It can also increase collagen production. It stabilizes the collagen we already have, and it protects our collagen from breaking down. However, vitamin C, when you apply it topically to your skin, it's not reaching the dermis. You are far better off getting your vitamin C through your diet than just shaking a salad. To put it in other words, let's say there's a fire. And topical vitamin C is like passing around water bottles to put it out. Oral vitamin C is like using a fire hose. Both scenarios will put out the fire, but why struggle with the water bottles when you can just have a fire hose? Next, pigment. Our pigment is made by our melanocytes, which are these brown cells that live at the very bottom of the epidermis. Does vitamin C affect our pigment production? Yes, it stops the most important enzyme needed to make pigment. Is vitamin C the strongest ingredient? No, it's not the best ingredient for this purpose. And lastly, the best use for vitamin C, which is repair. Our skin is constantly getting damaged and our skin is constantly trying to repair that damage. All of these things can produce harmful molecules called free radicals. These are very unstable molecules that have one electron, and they're swinging that electron around like a little bat, and they swing it at our collagen, and then they swing it again and they damage our DNA, and they swing it again and they damage something else. You get the idea. So it's very important to stop these free radicals before they can do any damage. And this, this is where topical vitamin C shines. Vitamin C is a very strong antioxidant. It sees a free radical with its little electrons swinging around, and it immediately donates an electron to quiet it down. The really nice thing about topical vitamin C is that it's so concentrated in your epidermis. So if you're outside, you're enjoying a beautiful sunny day, the UV rays are entering your skin and creating those free radicals. And your topical vitamin C in real time is neutralizing those free radicals so they can't go on to damage your skin. That's why we always advise topical vitamin C in the morning. In summary, vitamin C is best used as a morning serum. It may lighten dark spots. I would not rely on it to reduce wrinkles. These are some of my favorite affordable vitamin C products. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.